back at it again. Um, welcome back to the podcast, guys. You know, this is Anime and Things. You know, it's mm-hmm. your girl, Copycat. Boy, Sauce, man. You know, we back here doing big things. You know, if, you, if you're if you watching this right now, you know, you peep the background. We got some of our original, our OGs, you know what I'm saying, back here. We got Luffy. We got um, That's the Kid. We got Goku. Oop, we got, chairs in the way. Don't yep, matter. Don't even worry about that. We got Ichigo, we got Natsu, and then we got my man Suna from Catch and Kill Hitman Reborn. Um, I don't know if y'all ever seen that anime, but it's pretty slept on. Like, I, and I think, and I ain't gonna hold you, the first 30 episodes are just bad. Like, I'm just going... First 30? Like, 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 like first 15, like, just don't even... I'm like, first 30, <laughs> like, I've never... Like, let me, let me explain. Like, let me explain. Because I know I've talked about this before, maybe not on this podcast, but at least on Weeb Wednesday, back when we was doing the other one. But, Suna is, like, he's the original crybaby. Like, right. he just doesn't want to do anything that seems like it might be hard. And you know what, I can get behind that. But he's not like Shikamaru... This is a pain in my ass. He's like, I don't want to do that, and I'm kind of stupid. So it's irritating. <laughs> but then this baby shows up at the door dressed as, a, like, as a hitman. He's got, like, a binky, like, the whole nine. And he, like, shoots him in the head with a bullet, catches on fire, and he, like, gets this fire over his head. And he's like, Reeve on! He, like, like, throws his clothes off and, like, runs around like a crazy person because it, like, goes off, like, what's in your spirit. So it was really interesting, and he finds out he's, like, a mafia boss. But then first, like, everyone thinks it's a comedy anime, and then it gets, like, super serious. Mm-hmm. But then first 15, I ain't gonna hold you. Like. So just start at episode 16, is what you're saying. I mean, you just gotta, you need episode one to get the idea of what the reborn thing does. But yeah, like, it's and that's terrible, because I was holding on for so long, and I was like, everybody says this is good. Where does it get good? So I had to do some, like, looking, and everyone was like, yeah, like, them first 15 to 30, like. Like. I- the manga is like really good too. I mean, I think that's why I slept on because the first three episodes you think it's comedy and then you just leave. Mm-hmm. Like if you're a shonen fan, you're not sticking around for it. That's why I hate about stuff that like it's just on Crunchyroll too. You can watch it. Like, but I feel like that's what happens to people. Things in the in the Prime hole, like in anime and the Amazon Prime. You know what I'm saying? Like I mm-hmm. feel like you get good animes and they just get sucked into it. Like Wata Koi, like life is like love is hard to find for a, um otaku. People like we see it all the time. It's that um TikTok where they're like dancing with their fingers and there's like a couple. That's what that is. Mm. And everyone's like, Oh my god, where the fuck do I find this? And it's like it's on Amazon Prime. That's why I'm irritated that these streaming services can't just let us have all of our anime in one place. Yeah, you know, everybody's gotta make money. I know, but now I gotta do something strange for a piece of change to get some to get some um prom to get the prom uh membership friendship type thing going on. Like now I gotta go do some stuff that I probably wouldn't have done because I'm trying to watch an anime. That's a tragedy. Yeah. See, right. Now, why I gotta go get, like, get strange? Like, we gotta go do that. No. (laughs) No. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever, we're gonna start it off, though, with, like, this question. If you had to recommend an anime to somebody, what's the, like, someone who's never seen anime before wants to get into it, where are you sending them to? And mm. it doesn't matter if it's a big three, or an original big three, or a new big three. You get any anime you want to put them onto. I don't know, because I, I have to ask them. Because it's like a follow-up. Like, what, what would you be... Like, for, I'll probably base it off your regular TV show. Like, what do you look to as far as, like, regular TV show? Okay, all right. I can get behind. So, so then follow-up question. Do you think it's a bad idea to recommend animes like Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan... And like stuff like One Piece because it's, I mean One Piece obviously because of how long it is, yeah. but just because the animation is top tier and not all anime is like that. Uh, no. I mean I never really thought of it that way, but no, because usually I like I say I try to based off what I find, what I would think you would find interesting. So then you could kind of like right. branch off on your own, and then you know. But but at the same time, all of those like if you starting at the beginning, they all started off trash. Like far as 
maybe not so much Demon Slayer, but like One Piece, if you starting off, it's going to be like... I mean, you're back in the 90s. Yeah, you're back in the 90s. So any of the bigger ones, the animation, gonna longer running ones, the animation is going to start off kind of boo-boo. I mean, the same thing, but I guess the same would go for Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, though, because yeah. like that animation is top. Yeah. But and at the same time though, a lot of times they say the best animation for fight scenes anyway. So Right. I mean, but I'm but there's also that argument that Demon Slayer has better animation than it does storyline. Like, do you agree with that? No, because that, that storyline is pretty deep. Like I feel like it is too. I mean, it started off with his whole family getting murdered. I don't think you could and then the plot twist is his his sister is like a one in a million type demon. So like no, I definitely I and I definitely agree with that. That's why I think it's interesting that now, people feel like it's it's lacking. Now I would say the backstory like with the whole demon corp is kind of lacking. It's kind of a little shallow because it's like I don't think they give us enough. Yeah, like, like this whole especially one with the thing. yeah, especially with the one head dude because it's like what do you yeah. So I can like it's like they put a lot of effort into like the work up, yeah. uh, like the, the the demons. Actually, the demon side is more in depth than the actual. Yeah, the demon slayer corporation. Yeah, yeah. than the demon slayer corp. So I can I can kind of see where they did that at, but the story is like pretty much just good enough. I think it's because I think it's because the demons have their reasons for being demons. Yeah. Like, there's a reason they chose to go to the other side. I mean, even though we saw towards the end of um, the Red Light District arc, you know, the brother and the sister, the sister was going to heaven, yeah. you know, because, and I mean, she chose, she made her choice because she was just treated so terribly and she wanted to stay with her brother, even to the point of walking to hell with him. Yeah. And that's like a big thing to do is to choose your eternal, like your brother over your eternal actual happiness. Yeah. Like, that actually says a lot. And I think that what it, I think what ends up happening with heroes sometimes is that they get a little bit dulled because it's like, I want to kill demons because they killed my family. And it's kind of like, okay, go fix the new thing. Like, kind yeah. of, you know. But so. I think, but at the same time, it's not like he wanted, but see, his is a little deeper than that. Especially Agreed. kind of, because it's like, okay, yeah, my family got killed, but I'm also trying to heal my sister. Like, I'm trying to get yeah. her back the right. human. So I, I have to find this one dude because this is the only dude who is similar to my sister? Like all I know is in Zanget Zanetsu Zanetsu. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the names. <laughs> I know that his I know that his is actually gonna go a little bit deeper too because I I know I kind of did a little bit of reading looking ahead, so I know that there's a certain demon that he faces and it's like from his past and his yeah. and like what happened to a sensei because this guy became a demon. Yeah, and I think his reasoning becoming a demon was even like less. Yeah. Charismatic than everyone else's. Like everyone he was just like, you know what? I was never gonna be strong. Then they told me I could be a demon. Yeah, I remember that part. Yeah, he was like, This is an unwinnable battle. You better get on the winning team, bro. And yeah. then two was like, Yeah, you didn't pick the winning team. Let me <laughs> let me remind you so, of that. And, and I, then, I I like that too. I like Zenia too. And then the kinda like the unknown background of uh what's the name's dad? Oh, Tanjiro? Tanjiro's dad, like yeah, the fire but, dancing. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it's deeper than... and I mean, I guess some people are taking it off, like, the first few arcs that they haven't read ahead in the manga and stuff like that, where you get more into Tanjiro's dad's background yeah. and things of that nature, because it's like, yeah, my dad wasn't that strong, but he used to do this. Yeah, the, the dance, fire dance. Yeah. I mean, but and that was interesting that when Tanjiro said, you know, once he, his dad would stop, like, that was it and that was over with. Mm -hmm. And I think that he was like, he said his dad has always been sick and frail. And kind of weak, and so it's actually really interesting that he's had the power to do this fire dance. And he even said that when his dad did it, it wasn't like him; like it wasn't. It seemed like a different person almost. Yeah. So I think it's interesting too because the Tanjiro's. I think that scar on his head. It's a birthmark, though. Yeah, but it's uh, it it's also like I don't want to give it away. I know. Yeah. No, yeah. I know that there's way more to it because yeah. that scar actually means something. But yeah, I think but it's interesting. No, it wasn't a birthmark. He he. He did scar himself, right? Yeah, he yeah. scar his head, but it's like, because it's almost like way, a combination of both. I'm saying because of the way the scar is, I yeah. think. Yeah. It, I, was, it was like, it's supposed to be there, but it, it got there before it needed to be there. Like, And I just remember immediately thinking, too, like, when they did it, like, when they said there's only one person that can turn demons into other demons, I was like, so you're telling me the head honcho attacked this family? Like, that's... 
extremely interesting. Yeah. Because, like, especially what we keep finding him, he's always, like, losing, I think, he's always in, like, several different places. Yeah, he stays so, moving around because he knows yeah. everyone's after him. And I think it's just interesting that it was just, like, the one night Tanjiro is, like, gone. It's just, like, yeah. he attacks their whole family and then turns one. Like, and that's even inter- more interesting because it's like, we never actually, we never technically found, they make it sound like a random demon did it at first. And yeah. then it's just like, only one demon can actually turn them. So can the upper moons turn other people into demons? I don't think now? so. I, I, and, and I'm just, I'm just speculating. I think the deeper thing is, I think he went there looking. For Tanjiro? For Tanjiro. Because he knew about him. Right. And that, because remember, he all, he sent them after him off rip, the kid with the, the yeah. earrings, get rid of him. That's so right. I think he tried to get a jump on it. Yeah. And I, I don't think he purposely meant to yeah. change um Nezuko. Nezuko. I think that was just I think that was incidental. Because he, right. he, he thought they was all dead and he was like, wait a minute. She a demon? Right. She don't need people? She can do that? Yeah. And I, I think that's also the interesting part too with that. And I think that's why I'm starting to like these characters. And I'm really ready to see Eno's gay's like background. Like I know he was technically actually raised by a pig. Like and I think that's actually yeah. really interesting because like he's a very caring person. And I really liked his character development in Moon Train. Moongin Train, I mean. Mm-hmm. When he literally is like actually like I'm not crying, but he's like, you know what, you want to feel better about this, get stronger. And I think it's like him too thinking back to when his mom died and how yeah. he was like, you just have to be stronger. Because that's what animals do. You know, they just go past and stuff. And I think that's interesting to see him show as much emotion. Because at first, like, we kind of see him kind of just like, you know, I do what I want. And I think that's yeah. why it's interesting that he does what he does to his sword. And the guy never comes after him. The guy's just like, why are you like this? And just kind of goes about his day. But when he sees Tanjiro, he's like, you, you lost your sword. Oh, that's it. Like, well, I mean, because uh, you know, he came with the swords like that. I know. Tom Joe had to have the sword made, made. I know. And he keeps breaking them. I'm so ready to see that man without his mask. Because like, he be putting so much hard work into Tom Jiro swords, and they just keep breaking. I'm so ready to see. I'm ready to see him without his mask. And there's so many fights I'm ready to see get animated because I know they're gonna break the internet. Like I know, like especially when we get to season two of Jujutsu Kaisen with the order with the um like the the culling game. Like mm-hmm. I'm telling you, like it's it's gonna be really good, and I think I think I'm really excited for anime and animation to get better. But at the same point, I'm a little I, it's bittersweet because I know that as the animation quality gets better, our favorite oldies, you know what I mean, our OGs yeah. are gonna get left behind, and people nah, I feel like you need to appreciate it a little bit more. I mean, I you can say that, but I look at it in the same phase as video games. Like even though, yeah. People still go back and play video. Like, people still play Nintendo 64. People, yeah. people still on the Wii. Like, people still go play GameCube, even though we right. know the graphics are crap. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's it's always going to be somebody, a group of people somewhere, especially anime enthusiasts who actually, yeah. like, are into it. So, they they know what they expect. Yeah, I'm going to go back and watch this, even though the art style isn't great. Like, you, people still watch old movies. Like, you'll yeah. go back and watch an old movie, even though you know it looks like boo-boo. Yeah, that's true. Right. Well, you know what though? I in a, I'm an effects person. I love to go back and see effects like, before like CGI was a thing. Yeah, so. like so you know what I'm saying? Like we somebody's gonna go back and watch Transformers. That's like five thousand explosions. Like oh, yeah. it's directed by Michael Bay. Like yeah, <laughs> and I mean I think that's the other thing too when it comes to recommending anime as well. I think we also have a situation where we end up thinking. Like you said, you go based off of what people, you know, watch. But I feel like what they want to watch. And I feel like it's interesting, too, because I feel like a lot. Because of, because Shonen's the biggest, like, kind of genre that gets really pushed. I feel like we, like, kind of sleep on some really good ones. I don't know if you ever watched Erased. But that I've seen one, some of okay, it. That one's, like, really good. The animation quality is amazing. And just the story is really good. Because, you like, even, even the characters you think are going to get together, it's like, actually, they're not. Like, yeah. and I think... I think that one was interesting because it kind of hits home. I don't think we get to see a lot of animes based around like pedophilic and people who are closest to you, you know, being hurt. But I'm finding actually that I like time travel animes more than I think. And I know I have to watch Steins Gate. Like, like it's just ridiculous that I haven't seen it yet. Like, I think I've seen a couple episodes, but I didn't really dive. It's like critically acclaimed. Like, yeah. it's like up there with Cowboy Bebop type situation. So I really need to sit and watch it. And I hear it's just amazing. I think I think that's why, like, 
I don't know. I, I do want to recommend top tier animes to people because but, I feel like it's going to suck them in. And then at some point, everything's going to get remastered, especially the big ones. I'm dying to see. Yu Yu Hakusho got like a small remaster and it was like, it was like a little small, like a, they got like another yeah. episode of when Kurama was like young. He didn't grow his hair out yet and like he ate. I'm dying to see them because, get the Hunter Hunter treatment. I mean, granted, like, like kind of like nowadays, everybody's upset because everything's getting remade. But it's like, I get it because at a certain point, it's like, okay, in order for us to create something new, we yeah. kind of got to introduce the new generation to where, like, the origins were. So let's yeah. let's remaster this, let's remaster that, get everybody caught up to speed, and then we're going to hit y'all with some new shit. Kind of like what Marvel did. We're going to remake all this stuff. Yeah. So everybody can get hip. Everybody knows what's going on in the Marvel Universe. Who's who, who does what, who's strong, who's who. Yeah. And then we're going to hit y'all with some new shit. And I think that's what's interesting about it, because as I, like, talk to older comic book readers, you know, me and my dad read comic books, like, I see that they're gearing up. I thought they were gearing up for Secret Wars. Mm-hmm. They're gearing up for Secret Invasion. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't able, I hadn't read Secret Invasion because, like, I had just started collecting when that happened. And Secret Invasion is really cool, too. But Secret Wars is where Spider-Man gets his Venom suit. Yeah. I was, like, excited for that. But then I was like, oh, they haven't, they, because they introduced the Watcher. They introduced, yeah. like, so I'm ready to see Power Cosmic. And then I see the end of Spider Man that the scrolls have replaced, that, you know, Nick Fury's off world and there are scrolls on our planet. And I'm like, Secret Invasion. Like, because they've been, like, replacing everyone on the planet. And by the time the Avengers figure it out, it's way too fucking late. Yeah. So, and I think that that's when, now that we've gotten past Thanos, like, normally after that is the Secret Wars, I think. But everyone's like, you know what, Secret Invasion is best. So I, I think I think you're right, and I, what's actually interesting about Yu Yu Hakusho is that Togashi, the author, got on Twitter and got like a million followers in one night. Yeah. But no one believes that Hunter Hunter. Is yeah, that that was, he got on Twitter yeah. to announce it. But I mean that that's cool. I mean because it's it's like at some point. I mean even even your pride will like even sometimes you have to you know let your pride go in order to like finish something you really care about. Because I'm pretty sure. Nobody wanted to finish Hunter Hunter more than he did. You know? Oh yeah, oh, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. But his health wouldn't let him. So I mean, I kind of figured at some point he would let his wife just finish it. I up. mean, the fact that he finished Yu Yu Show and then had an apology letter at the end really says how much he really cared about his like art. Yeah. I mean, just because he was like, I'm really sorry this wrapped up as quick as it did, but I just can't do it. Yeah. And I think that that really says a lot. I love how much manga cars and uh, like care about their yeah. readers and love. I mean, because we make them. And yeah. I think they're kind of on a different level than celebrities because I feel like what's interesting about them it's like a is cult that following. It, kind of, it really is. And I think that that's super, like, impressive because, you know, we have our characters that we love. We have our characters that we, like, hate and stuff like that. And I think still at the end of the day, though, they still manage because they don't just give us, you know, mangas. We still get official art books and yeah. stuff like that. And I think that that's really interesting, which is why I loved my time in Japan, because I got to see, like, marketing with anime. Yeah. Like, Uniqlo, like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, go ahead so I can get some, like, official stuff. Right. So, yeah, I, I kind of figured at some point, especially when you got, especially when you have, like, a partner who ha- has made something as, like, big Olympic, prof- as Sailor Moon. And, like, like, oh, my God, yes. You know like, me personally, I would have been handed it over. Like, like like, yeah, you can go ahead and finish it out. Because, I mean, like... You, well, she stopped drawing for a bit, too, actually. Yeah, because I'm like, you got one of the biggest animes. Like, one of the... I mean, some people consider it a big three. Oh, it was. So, you know what I'm saying? It like, was. Like, people to this day, like, that's it's the only person who could be Goku, for real. Like so. Sailor Moon, I mean, I and that is, like, a great <laughs> debate that I actually love. Because she does have the power of the universe and the moon. So, theoretically speaking, yeah. she could do it. Like, she could be Goku. <laughs> Now round two, I don't know because you know Goku go come back with. I don't know. Stronger. See the thing that's the thing about Sailor Moon though is that she actually has the habit of doing the same thing. Mm. Like you know, like it starts with like Moon Prism makeup, you know, and it's that yeah. stupid little heart thing, and then all of a sudden she becomes like Serenity, the yeah. princess of the moon. She just kind of keeps jumping upper echelons as well, and I think what's interesting about her is that while Goku's a grown man, people forget that Sailor Moon's like a middle school child. Like, True. And so that's the cool thing is that she actually knows, like, right now, we don't know the limits of Sailor Moon's powers. We never have. Yeah, I mean, kind of same with Goku. Right. We, ne- <laughs> we never have. Because, like, the way it's going, this man might be end up being, like, an angel, which is, like, yeah, so I far saw, the strongest um, thing in the 
I saw a purple Vegeta. What, like second? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that Kinda, real? Yeah, yeah, no, that's real. It's real? So it's called uh, Ultra, Ultra Ego okay. Vegeta. So it's it's kind of like the God of Destruction. So pretty much it's setting up for him to be like Goku to be an angel and then he to be kind of like the God of Destruction. I, uh, you know, I'm going to read ahead just to, cause I think I might like kick that off because I really want to see. Yeah, no, they, and they, there's some sessions in there where they out here throwing nits. I like, I, you know, I have fallen in love with Vegeta. Like, I, I honestly just did yeah. not like him and just the character development, we just, I cannot give him his flowers enough <laughs> because, Veg, because Vegeta really like, Vegeta, Bakugo, like, I feel like even like, even like in Tokyo Revengers, like those characters, like the character development, what I love the most is that they're like, it's just always there. And the fact that they like, we have shows like One Piece that are on for so long and these people still keep making better character development. Yeah. Like I really wasn't a big Zoro fan in One Piece at first because I was like, I mean, I was, it's not, there wasn't a specific reason to not like him, Yeah, but he had great character development. And when he's in, in was that Thriller Bark? Where um Kuma like pushes all that stress out of Luffy and he's got this big ass ball of stress and he's like, here's what a little bit of it feels like. And his whole body just shots and he's like, All right, you take this whole thing, I'll leave you guys alone. But you can't tell anyone what you did. And Zoro's like, fine. Like and when he steps, he just dives right into it. Like, I mean the loyalty, like Zoro's almost loyal to a fault. Like yeah. it's, it's crazy. And just for him to be covered like that. And clearly he can't move, and Sanji's like, you have to tell me what happened. He's like, nothing happened. Like, he just, he left. <laughs> yeah. Like, even even now, when, uh, even in now, when Marco was taking him up to fight Kaido, and he like, yeah. you, you, you about to go fight the Emperor of the Sea, and you kind of calm, but he like, my captain but said he want to kill him, so, so we go. <laughs> yeah, like. And I think that that's also the interesting part, too. Like, it's just the fact that, like, Zoro just has always been by even though and it was funny that he was a pirate killer at first. Yeah. And he was just like, you know what, you saved me. Like and even him turning around when Mihawk was about to strike him. He like gave him his back to like actually like he's like, You're never gonna like do like my back. I'm gonna scratch it across the car. He's like, Thank you. You're yeah. you're a different kind of man, Zoro. He stole on Kaido. Like, hold on, you're not about to eat my captain though. Man, like, when he pulled in my out, I I, was, I cannot wait to see him in the store more. Like, yes. like I don't give I don't give a fuck about none of that shit anybody else is talking about with Zoro and Kaido. I'm trying to see. I mean, with Luffy and Kaido, I'm trying to see Zoro. Like, that's the like that he's got. He's giving me right like Rayleigh vibes. Like yeah. first cat, like first mate of the world type <laughs> shit. Like, like top but, like. So, but yeah, so it's One Piece is definitely getting interesting. Um, got the beast form, the main beast form. Yeah, now that you say it, beast form, like I'm, I'm we're gonna we're but, gonna see Kaido. Hey, yeah, cause you got to. That's the only way. I cause Kaido that. already all turned up. He like, I right, y'all want to play? And then, but there's also like this new moniker of Joy Boy. I don't know if you've seen a little bit of that. Mm -mm. Like, but there some people are like trying to dub Luffy as Joy Boy, which is like kind of like the moniker of freedom. Like his like people are starting to say that his power isn't actually the power of rubber, but freedom, just full on freedom with his body. That Which, makes sense. What well, right? So, and Joy Boy is more like it's a nickname, not really like they're saying like he's kind of the reincarnation. But I think they were trying to say before that Goldie Roger might have been Joy Boy, or that like you know. Which is interesting too, because if you look at Luffy's family, it's about freedom. Like his yeah. father is a revolutionary. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that we eventually run into his mom, kind of like I was hoping with My Hero Academia. They said that his like Midoriya's dad was gonna make an appearance eventually, but. I still haven't seen it, and we've gotten pretty deep. Like, I, I don't know what's left. Honestly. That might really be all my. That would absolutely. I think. I don't think it's. I, don't <laughs> I know, think but that that'd be crazy. I definitely write enough fan fiction where Inko and All Might definitely had an affair. Like, mm -hmm. I can't even hold you. Like, but I some there was a theory that it's all for one. I was about to say that too. Like, it could be all for one. And he like took his he took his quirk as a child. But what would be interesting to me too, though, is that because someone actually brought this up too, that Deku would be the scariest villain because he, like, you know, keeps track of everybody. Yeah. Like on on like and on the Batman level. Yeah, and he's actually the only person, the the uh, Invisible Girl. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that's seen her, like what she actually looks like. I think mm -hmm. we actually get to see her like later in the manga. We actually get to see what she looks like. Cause wait till you find out who the traitor is. There's still a traitor. I think oh, yeah. you just forgot about this. Everyone forgot about the traitor. 
And then we all like were like, it's got to be the invisible girl because she's invisible, so you wouldn't know if she was there or not. It's not her. Uh, when you find out who the traitor is, you're going to be like, for real? It is going to be really interesting because they also always point out something that's really interesting about him, too. Like, he's always looking at us. I got to go rewatch it. it. Even in the manga, he's always looking at us. I gotta go. I gotta go see who they say that about because I can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah, because when you see who it is, you're like, and it makes sense. It makes sense because the way he describes how he's never been able to be comfortable, like, and and do what he needs to do, like, and you just don't see him coming. Like when I saw who, I was like, Whoa! <laughs> I, mean, I forgot we had a traitor. I ain't even go hold you. <laughs> I was like, oh, is the traitor still a thing? Was that like a red herring? You know, right. he's actually still a traitor. Well, you see who it is. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on here? I feel, I feel like I'm gonna see it coming. You're not. And I think you. I think you're not. Just, I'm, cause it, it, now that now that I remember one, if I go if I go back and watch it, I can pick up. I'll be able to pick up on who. Cause it's all. I know it's always somebody around that's peeping shit. Yeah, but it's still not. I think some people too thought it might have been Tokoyami at some point, but it's not. No, nah. either him. I don't know. If you had to guess off the top of your head, who do you think would be the traitor out of the whole 1A class? It's a student? Yeah. I'll give you that much at least. It is a student. It's a student. And they're in 1A. They're not like in the other B class. Or I got to look like at that. the whole class. You got to check out, check out the, feel free yeah, to take yeah, your time yeah, to check yeah. out the roster. And look at the, you know, guys, we're going to do our best not to. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. But. but. I'm going to just point it out on, on the screen. Like, once you see it, though, you're, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. the whole class, right? Um, uh, yeah. Looks like it. We're missing the girls. Oh, no, there's some of the girls. Not all of them are there, I guess. I don't know why it's drawn so closely, but, yeah, pretty much that's close. If I had to guess. It's not hanky for me, though. Mm-mm. <laughs> It's like it's really when I like when I'm telling you when you think it is that person it's, it's not at all, and that's what had it so crazy. Like that's why I was so shook. Possibly. Mhm. Mhm. <laughs> like it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why it was such a shock because you don't. Because think. when you say he always watching us, it the first thing that the first thing that popped in my head when I seen him. I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna give it away. Yeah, but I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all, I'll tell you off camera. But yeah, he said, you know, yeah, it's, it's always it was an interaction he had that it was like, hey, yo, you weird. Yeah, but like, every, like, and I think that's why it was so interesting. Everyone really thought it was Takakure. That's her name. Yeah, everyone thinks it's Takakure. See, I know, I, I know, an op when I see one. <laughs> I know, an op when I see one. That's ridiculous. You're not allowed to. <laughs> Just like I knew the clown face dude was an op. Yo. It's, it's the... So, actually, speaking of that, did you see that that rumor that Shanks might be a traitor? No. Okay, so it's going off of the possible theory that everyone that everyone that on the cover that's a traitor happens to be looking away. Like, they're never mm. looking straight. So, the first one, him, the clown dude, he's not looking towards on the manga cover. Um, The, like, the what is it? The monkey jam guy, the guy who's kind of like uh, he's got like instruments. Mm -hmm. He's a you know he's a traitor. Mm -hmm. He like is looking away, and they think that Shanks actually might be like that's why he's able to get away with everything. And people think that he might have turned in Gold Roger. Mm. Like that's as usual as you brought that guy up because I like I was like there's no way Shanks is a traitor. I w in a way I wouldn't be shocked because he was mad excited. To like to fight Luffy when he like when he sees he's become the king of the pirates. Yeah. But on the same token, creating Luffy. I mean, now granted it was an accident, but I feel like just the way Shanks was or is just in general, you know, he probably would have took him out just a little mm. earlier. Nah. Really? But, nah. Because, once again, even Kaido recognized that Shanks could probably get him to work. And he ain't touched Kaido yet. I think he wanted to let Luffy get out of his strong. I mean... Because, you know, you, you got to think about it. That's how anime villains are most of the time. They want. I just don't think he would have wasted an arm on it. 
that's like the yeah, thing. True. Like he really did like save Luffy and like you know yeah. his arm. Like and definitely he had to have knocked up old girl with the with the green hair nah, back yeah. at Luffy's village because he definitely said goodbye. And I think he had a baby in arms or something. <laughs> like and I was like, you you gotta like. Cause at first I was like maybe she's Luffy's mom, but then not, like, uh, maybe he maybe he might not be a traitor, but maybe he might turn on Luffy in order to like be the king of the pirates type situation. Or he could be pretending to be a, tra- a, a traitor, yeah. like because the government doesn't really touch him, but the government also doesn't touch Kaido, Big Mom, yeah, or they don't, like any of any the Yakos. They, they yeah, they, any of the big emperors of the sea, they don't really. Yeah, they really don't. I mean, well, they turned on the seven. Well, yeah, I mean, though, but those is small fries compared to Kaido. No, I, Luffy took out half of them himself. Yeah, yeah, like he so. took down Crocodile, he took down Dolphamingo, he took down. Well, he didn't really have to take down Boa. Who's who's left? Like who? Like there was like a whole thing. Well, and then Jinbei's on his side now. So yeah, like I mean, like what are they? The seven? They're not the seven emperors, are they? Seven something. I thought they were. Warlords. Yes. Because the Yonkos are the emperors. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't take down Mihawk. Oh, yeah. She, uh, Shichi Bukai. That's what I was like. There's got to be, like, there's a specific name for them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that some of them got switched out, too, though. Like, so, yeah. So Mihawk isn't one anymore, but there was Crocodile, Dolphamingo. Uh, Kuma was the other one. Mm-hmm. And then Moria, we took him down in Thriller Bark. Marshall, Marshall D. Peach. I didn't know he was a warlord. Oh, mm-hmm. you know what? He became one after, and then he became a Yonko after that, like a great emperor. Yeah. Jinbei resigned. Mm-hmm. And Law became one. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Completely, I really forgot about that. Law is that's, that's why Law be taking it personal when Luffy give him orders. Man, when Zoro was like, move me, he was like, I'm not a part of your crew. <laughs> I don't know what's going to take you to remember or get that through your thick the fact that he was like, I got to talk to Luffy about something. As soon as he get over there, you know, when you tell me to move him downstairs, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, already, yeah, like, I already had that plan. That was something to do. And now it's not like you give him the orders. Right, right. <laughs> Dude, and, like, hi, you got nothing to support there. Even Luffy was like, who? <laughs> He was like, that that ain't him. He was like, y'all both losers. He was like, no, nah, you the only loser. <laughs> it's the fact that him and Law just keep ganging up on, like, Kid, too. Because Kid, like, y'all losers. They're like, no, no, no. You <laughs> the loser. Like, we are good. Like, Luffy, right. like, I mean, I'm going to be the top man no matter what. But you, uh, you, you suck. You like, suck. You ain't even landed a hit on nobody. Man, yet. the thing that killed me is that we definitely know that Kid went after Kyle first. And how did that go? <laughs> like, Jordan. He, he like, wait till I get my revenge. And I'm like, bro, what revenge? He had you laid out. Oh. Laid I mean, out. granted, everybody ran up on Kaido their first time, got laid out. Even Luffy. You're right. You're right. But Kaido was, I mean, but I feel like Kid, like, Eustace was just so under. Like, yeah. he was just so, and I think, like. Well, I, I, but even though Luffy was, because Kaido was like, I didn't even pay no attention to this dude. Like, he pulled up, I laid him out. He was trashed. <laughs> I know, but you know, I think what ended, I think what had Luffy, what makes Luffy a little more is that he he also just went to go fight Big Mom. Yeah, and like honestly, I think that was also interesting too. I love that there's not as much plot armor in One Piece. Like I feel like people say there is, but the fact that when one like when things did not go well with just like they ran twice actually, they ran from Kuma. Yeah, they were like get out of here, like we just have to go. Some and they ran from Whole Cake Island. Yeah, like I mean, and just. That was some devious shit too. Within the report that he took Big Mom down, like yeah. that was some devious ass shit. And she just literally wasn't happy. She's still not happy. <laughs> she was so ir- then he showed up and punched her. He was like, "Literally, what you?" <laughs> 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 like I thought that that was just. In- I mean, he didn't really beat um. What is his name? Ka- like Ka- Katakuri? Like yeah, her son. Yeah, yeah he didn't really he beat did. her. Like. Yeah. They just both, like, it was a draw. Yeah, it was a draw. Like, he was just like, you know what? I respect you. You really put in that work. And yeah. he was like, he put in that work. Yeah, Whole Cake Island was a... And granted, he spent most of the time hungry as hell, but... Yeah. That was a rough... That was a rough uh, ride for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely Got was. beat up multiple times. Almost lost his homie. It was all... It was all bad. So. I think... I, I think that's... That's actually what's really interesting about... I think in general, just 
So I love some animes that just really kind of keep me going no matter what. Like, I just been pushing yeah. it, pushing it, pushing it. Like, even Tokyo Avengers gets a little dull for a hot second there, a yeah. lot of people. Like, because we do have another villain after Kisaki. I will say that. But, that makes sense. Like, also, Kis- I mean, we just got like, somebody was actually in the Reddit that was like, Kisaki is 13. Can we talk about this? Yeah, like these he- dudes is villainous. <laughs> like, he's- I really, that's the anime I'm always recommending to everybody. Like, anyone, like, if they say that they like action, I'm like, Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, but, like, oddly enough, being being from the area I've been, it's a lot of 13 or year old that's really that. About villainous. it, about it. I and mean, you know what? Yeah. And I think, like I said, it's just about when you find out why he's doing what he's doing. Like, if he was just, if he had just lived a hard life, I would understand it, but that is not the case. Like he's not <laughs> Which is why it's kind of just like, Hey, yo, you been plotting. And then you're just a smart 13-year-old. Yeah. Because it's like, every time Takemichi has a plan, he's like, nope, 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 nope. And then Takemichi's like, you, you can also go through time. And he's right. like, what are you talking about, Takemichi? Yeah, just a little side branch. I was watching, I forgot, who was it? Was it? It was somebody on, uh, I was, can't think. I want to say it was a dude named Gilly the Kid. And he was saying when he was younger, he was like seven years old. His brother, his older brother was like seven years old. Right. And they was watching something. And his brother looked over and said, one day, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> and he was like, the fuck? Well, He's like, I want to go tell my mom. My mom whooped his ass. But he was like, he was like, but that wasn't the right way to go about it. Because it was like, that meant it was a lot of pent up aggression aggression yeah. in him at a young he was like and eventually when he was like 17 18 he killed kill someone somebody. yep that's <laughs> normally when children say it they're gonna yeah. do it. i'm not gonna lie to you i, I it just sounds really terrible but when adults say it i right. just there it doesn't because have there's as much a weight. level of rationality yeah, yeah like it doesn't take as much weight unless you've already done it yeah. because that first kill Changes everything, yeah, but yeah. I think when I children, because that means that that in the, there's no innocence in there. There anymore. isn't. No, there isn't. There's in there's no room to even teach you that killing is wrong. Yeah, you've already decided that that's the only way you're gonna get through this, and yeah. I think that's what makes it. That's so keep like, thinking that makes it interesting. So like, like so like when when I see Tokyo Avengers, like I'm not, I don't be shocked there, but like these thirteen year olds, like no, it's really. No, it, it really, really little is. niggas out here that's moving like that. Well, like. I, I, honestly, and I think that's like it's terrible because in light of recent um terrible things that happened with that awful school shooting, yeah. I think I me and me and Ricky were talking about it. You know, people create their own Batmans, they make their own villains, they yeah. make their own superheroes, and I think it's interesting because it's an it's unfortunate when you do something to someone or their family, you have to like take everyone out. Because all you're doing is making someone, like, ready. Especially if they saw... I, I feel bad for those children that see, you know, their parents' faces. like yeah. the, Or the guy, the, the assaulter, or someone. They see their faces. And they remember that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And they will find you. You know, you turned your life around and everything like that. And you have no idea that you made a Batman. Yeah. Like, you made a, like, straight Bruce yeah, Wayne. Yeah, because somebody out there going to want their... They going to want it back in blood. Yeah. They absolutely do. Yeah. Like, they pay, they pay for keeps. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I that, that and I can't blame you. I can't blame you. As a child, when your innocence is taken, just in any way, whether that's physically, emotionally, unfortunately, sexually, whenever your yeah. innocence is taken, you're gonna hold that. And and I think that's what's crazy about Tokyo Revengers because when I like just the fact that Baji and Kazutora killed Mikey's brother, and Mikey still still spoke highly of them to get Kazutora's sentence yeah. lowered. And the fact that Kazutora took Baji's body. He just this kid had two bodies on him. Like and in the future he gets out. Like yeah. first I don't know what's going on with Japan's laws. I didn't know you could have a body and like get out in certain time. But I think it's because he's got two bodies under eighteen. Yeah. So I think that's what why he keeps yeah, being but... able to be out. But the fact that yeah, Mikey, you never gonna get a life sentence as a child. No, but I mean, you know what though, Baji, because Baji didn't do any time. I don't think. I don't recall if he did at least. But, no, because uh, I think he did a little bit, but I think because he didn't actually kill them. And yeah, he called for help. Yeah, he called for help. But I think Mikey was able to forgive him because he he 
Yeah, right he there truly on the spot. Didn't know. Right there on the spot, yeah. Yeah, he didn't know that was his brother. Yeah, like, he thought it was a shop. At least. Yeah. Because Victoria didn't know it was his brother. Like, yeah. But I think also, you know, Baki's actually, like, younger than them. Like, I, Mikey, Mitsuya, Draken, they're all, like, 15. Yeah. Like, Baki's 14. Yeah. Jafuyu is 13. <laughs> yeah, cause, I mean, because when he found out that was Mikey's brother, that's when Bo Boy had the mental breakdown and was just went. He was like, this is Mikey's fault. You know what? Yeah. Like, he, he wanted the he, bike. He, he snapped. Like, dang, I killed your brother for you. Yeah. Trying to get you something that you really wanted. It's yeah. your fault. Like The fact that Shinichiro was gearing up to give Mikey the bike, I was like, that's just the icing on the yeah. cake. Like, especially later when we, like, see, like, Mikey has lost so much, and he's gonna continue. Even after we see that he lost his brother, he's gonna continue to lose yeah. more. He's kind of like Luffy. Yeah, but it's just that Mikey, uh, Mikey, eventually in the manga talks about these things where he has these dark impulses that he cannot control, and that's actually like everyone's got their sunshine. Mm-hmm. Like his sunshine continuously gets taken away, and it sucks because at some point too they like. Like, Takemichi is like, I fixed it. We're all good now. And then he goes back to the future, and it was like, you did nothing. Go back. Yeah. And like like I said, eventually it becomes about not saving Mina anymore. It's about saving Mikey now. And it's, yeah. That's supposed to be even more interesting. Like that, I I cannot tell you how much I love that show. Like, <laughs> I can't. Like, and I, I just, I plan on purchasing the whole manga set. Like, finally, the, um, the omnibuses just came out for volumes one and two, and they're on Amazon. I think it's like volume one and two are in one, um, two and like two and three are in like another one, and just the drip, it's the drip. <laughs> <laughs> I love if you guys love official like official art and stuff, and you get to see what they would look like if they weren't in their world. Luffy got mad drip. You can't tell me the Zoro. Man, I mean, drip. Luffy dripping now. He got the cloak. I mean, and listen, that coat on their shoulders, yeah. that be getting me every time. I'm just like, you know what? Every time I see you just dressed like... And now, he look, he getting smacked around currently in that coat. Stays on. Listen. listen. Same with Kaido. That 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 mink on his back. Man, man. Even when he was dragging, I'm like, he was going, like, you, you still got that damn mink on your back. Got on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's how I feel though, like Big Mom, you know, when yeah. she was starving and she lost all that weight. I was like, it's been like 12 hours, damn. It's hilarious though how she used to be a slim goody back in the day. Bro, I'm mad at how many, I'm mad that people just age terribly in One Piece. They either age very well or it's just like there's no middle yeah. ground. You either used to be a baddie and now you are just like, ooh, like you definitely have to right. wear makeup or. You but, just but it's the fact that everybody knew Luffy was gonna be that guy from like Jump Street. Oh yeah. Like even when he, before he even ate the devil fruit, they was like He gonna be some great guy. Yeah, it's that guy. Shake, they shake, <laughs> he, shake even Odin was like it's that guy. Like No litter every everyone is like, just you wait. Somebody with the D middle name. Even Monkey D, like even Dragon was like, My son, I mean I ain't with him right now and I ain't seen that man, I ain't never seen that child, but Big things popping and little things. Because everybody knew about Luffy before Luffy knew about them. Because Ace and them going around like my little brother, though. He got you. That's actually the name of this. That's the name of this episode. Big things popping and little things stopping. <laughs> my little brother, like, though. They be like, why you talking about your little brother so much? Because he that guy. He was, right. He's him. All, <laughs> all day. He's, if you want some. Like, if I don't come back, he coming back. And all day, get it done. all day, and we didn't even see Luffy go up against Teach yet because you know he's on his way. Mm-hmm. You know he's on his way, especially since Teach has like two different, has like two um, fruit powers technically. Yeah, since he took White Beard, so and we still gotta compete with Sabo's alive or not. We ain't even talked about Sabo yet. Yeah, Sabo's still in the cut. I I think all that. I think everything will come out because remember. Everybody's so worried about Kaido falling and Big Mama falling because that's going to be the beginning of the huge war between yeah. the Navy and the Pirates. Yeah. Like, that's all everybody's been talking about. Like, if they fall, yeah. ain't no telling There's what's no about to happen. Anymore, yeah. yeah. Ain't no telling what's going to happen. Every It's going to be a big fight for power. The Navy, the, the Navy is, that's why the Navy's striking so quick because it's like Luffy really might. Yeah, clap, dude. We gotta get these pirates under control before it happens. Like they, yeah. they kicking the doors now. Like we gotta get. I was gonna say, yeah, they finding them. They finding them. They climbing in your window, <laughs> catching your people up. 
Yeah, man. they got to. The whole neighborhood getting indicted. How'd your kids hide your <laughs> wife? Because they like, hey, listen, we know we know who Luffy Peoples is. Especially yeah. now that Yamato is on the team. They're like, yeah. well, Kaido's like son and daughter? We in trouble. Like, like, right. I feel like there's like an alert going off constantly yeah. in the Navy. Because and Kobe's like, well, Luffy's my friend, so I think I might be okay. <laughs> right, like, that's my boy. Yeah. Because it's like, I mean, it's been coming for a while. Like, okay, Monkey D. Luffy. Then it's like, I don't know, everywhere he go, Bro. he gathering up followers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Everyone's like, we like Luffy. I mean, like, like, be, I mean, my man taking out bandits. <laughs> like he, he becoming an issue. Like he got so many people behind him. All right. Like, like, and then you know, Robin joined the crew, and everyone was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Then they like the more people that kept joining, it was like, he got Jimmy. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, wait till they find out about Yamato. Like he's got yeah. Kaido's kid. Ooh. Yeah. So, I I think I think it's a. You would think like this would be, it, it's it's almost like One Piece is really now just beginning. Like you know what I'm saying. Even though we're so yeah. deep into it, you'd be like, oh, it's coming to an end. But it's like, nah, it's like we actually it's really ramping up. we actually really getting into the shit now. Like yeah, Oda, please take care of yourself. <laughs> please. <laughs> like we getting into the thick of it because the whole world about and that's all everybody been saying. Like the world about to get turned upside down. Yeah, we always like, oh, he about to face a kid shake. <laughs> he gained <laughs> big things popping <laughs> and little things selling. <laughs> that's like right. I'm telling you. That's, yeah, but you know what? That's our time though. If you guys, you know, were really feeling it, what animes would y'all recommend to um, other other people to get them started in the anime world? What's your favorite anime to just you know rewatch something like that? You know, what's what anime's anim- animation quality is just S tier to you? You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, you know what I'm saying? You see we on Spotify, hit us up on YouTube, Instagram, like, subscribe, Twitter, like share. and subscribe. Right, like do all that know, stuff. Like we know y'all don't like watching us, but y'all can at least listen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try to get the Apple yeah. podcast it, going. Yeah, like it on Spotify too. Yeah, we're gonna try to get the Apple podcast going. Sorry. No, that, that whole yeah. algorithm stuff. No, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, you know, make us like a thing. Or don't. Right. You know? All right, y'all gotta go so I can talk about how I know dude is an eye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>